so in this video i will show you how you can stream your webcam uh, video in your uh, browser so in simple uh, I, so here you will see a video box in which you can see the video of your webcam so uh, we will implement this using angular so let me quickly show you my angular project structure so this is just a simple project i just have created and i have created one component which is the dashboard component and i have configured the app routing module uh, so that uh, when the path is blocked it will open the dashboard component and in the dashboard component i just have a h2 with the dashboard or nothing there in the javascript or TypeScript file okay so as you can see we have the output of uh, that uh, h2 <coughs> perfect so let's try to uh, configure uh, the video over here, over here okay so below this dashboard i want to show the video of my webcam stream so First of all, I will define a video tag where my video will play and for now, I will not set this uh, source because you will set this source from the TypeScript file itself. I, ju I will just give it an ID so that I can access its reference from the PS file. Okay. So now we have our video tag with its ID and we will go to the TS and we will create a new variable here, maybe video ref which will create uh, which will give the reference of that video file and I will say in the R init when the document is loaded I mean at that time we will have the video tag in your HTML so I will say this dot video ref equals to document dot get element by id and I will pass the video id which is this id okay so let's confirm we are getting the reference I'll do a console log and I'll frame this video reference just to be sure if you are getting the video reference or not. So fine, we are getting the video reference over here. Now uh, we'll see how you'll get the access to a webcam. For that, I'll define a function which will let's call this maybe set of camera because it sets of the camera. So inside this, I'll try to access a JavaScript object which is Navigator and inside Navigator, it gives us media devices which gives the list of media devices we have and inside this, I'll try to access get user media. Uh, so uh, as you can see, uh, in this get uh, user media, we can pass some media constraints. So let's try to define some media constraint which type of media we want. So I'll say I want a video. Uh, then you can pass it to object so I can specify its width as maybe 300 and its uh, height as maybe 250 sorry 250 perfect and then I'll say I don't want audio for now maybe audio is false uh, that's perfect uh, so we passed our uh, this object to the get user media so once we pass that so I'll say now what will happen now you have to give me a stream i can call that anything i'll call it stream so let's try to print this stream and let's see how this stream looks like fine so and i will call this set of camera from our on it well and good let's see so it's saying that not readable error could not start video source so something has happened let's try to see what up, uh, what happened so in our setup camera get user media is called okay and in the object we're saying video video height width and audio is false perfect and then stream and uh yeah and so plug is stream everything seems perfect could not start video source Oh, it's because my video is accessible somewhere else. I believe. capture video capture device and do not it. Yeah. So now let's try to replace it. Yeah. So now as you can see, here we have our media stream over here. Yeah. So we printed our media stream. So let's see how we can pass this stream to our uh, that video tag that we just created uh, yeah so here you have the video tag 
so we'll try to pass this media stream to this video uh, uh, video tag so for that we do, what do we have to do so we have the reference of that video tag over here as video ref so i'll say this start video ref so i can set the source by src object i'll say the src object equals to the stream perfect let's try to see this so now what happened? yeah so the video stream we access but for some region it's not playing so the perhaps the region could be we haven't set the video auto play that's why it's not playing let's try to set that i'll say auto play fine let's save it yeah so as you can see the, our video is now playing so this is the live video from uh, from this source so uh, that's it for this video we, we just saw how we can play this video but later uh, in this series what we'll do we'll try uh, to use the uh, tensorflow api simple face detection so that we can show the like the uh, the rectangle so for the faces so if you have like multiple faces over here you will see multiple rectangles over here and also you will see how you can implement this using angular so that's it for this video. Thank you.